Hey y'all, my name is Meredith and today I'm going to be showing you how I make gluten-free enchiladas with homemade enchilada sauce. <laughs> Whenever I have friends over and I make them, I feel really cool saying that I made my own enchilada sauce because everyone expects you to just use whatever's in a can. If you want to use canned enchilada sauce for this because it's faster and easier, I totally get it. However, the enchilada sauce that I'm going to show you is not that hard to make and it gives you the bragging rights to say you made your own. I am going to put my hair up and wash my hands because I'm ready to get started. You're going to start by combining your spices. Start with one and a half tablespoons of chili powder and then add two teaspoons of ground cumin. Now add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a fourth teaspoon of paprika, a fourth teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of salt, and a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Now all you have to do is mix. In a saucepan over low to medium heat, add three tablespoons of olive oil, three tablespoons of gluten-free flour, I use Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, and then dump in the spices that you just mixed. Now you're going to whisk these ingredients together very gently for the next two minutes. When you're done gently whisking for two minutes, you're going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste and half a cup of your chicken broth. Gently whisk the tomato paste and chicken broth until you have a thick consistency like you see here. Using one and a half cups of chicken broth, stir in a little bit at a time over the next five minutes. You'll see here that I'm pointing to where it's starting to bubble. Now you're going to cover the sauce with a lid and let it simmer for eight minutes. At the four minute mark, take the lid off and give it a good stir and then cover it back up for the remaining four minutes. Give it one more stir when your eight minutes is up and then very carefully pour it into a measuring cup. It's going to be piping hot. my pretty much exactly two cups of enchilada sauce. I am going to set it aside, it is very hot. And typically I make the sauce and the ground beef at the same time, but for the sake of filming this video and showing you how I make them, I'm doing them separate. But now I'm ready to start on the rest of my enchiladas. Dice up one yellow onion into a medium sized dice. Then add one pound of ground beef into a saucepan and add two tablespoons of taco seasoning and one tablespoon of sriracha or your favorite hot sauce that you have on hand. Place your pot on the stove over medium heat and break up the ground beef. You're going to cook it just until there's no more pink. Now that my meat is fully cooked, I'm going to place a lid on it and drain the fat over the sink. Next, I'm going to mix my cheeses, one cup of cheddar and one cup of Fiesta style. In a 7x11 baking dish, pour about half a cup of enchilada sauce and spread it out evenly across the bottom. I like to place my 6 tortillas on the countertop, that way I know I'm evenly distributing all of my meat and cheese. Today I am using Mission Gluten-Free Original Tortillas. Each enchilada needs a sprinkle of cheese. You don't have to worry about measuring it, the rest of your cheese is going to be dumped on top anyways. Now this part gets a little bit tricky and definitely messy. When it comes to rolling up your enchiladas, make sure you're really careful with the gluten-free tortillas because they tend to break pretty easily.
tortillas are very soft and sticky and they like to stick together. And the last thing I want to happen when I try to serve them is for them to rip open. So I like to put a little bit of sauce in between each one before I pour the rest of the sauce on top and spread it out evenly. With the rest of your cheese mixture, sprinkle it evenly across the top of your enchiladas. Okay, so my enchiladas are now all tucked in and cozy. They're gonna go in and bake in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, just until the cheese melts and they're heated through. There are so many things you can put on top of enchiladas. So I went ahead and chopped up some fresh cilantro and now I wanna do a sour cream drizzle. Sour cream is pretty thick and I don't just wanna plop it on top. So I like to mix in lime juice until it's the consistency that I'm able to drizzle it. The cheese is melted and the sauce is bubbly, so now I am ready to top my enchiladas with my sour cream mixture and a little bit of cilantro. It's so much better than the jarred sauce or the canned sauce or whatever it is. You can use corn tortillas if you want to use corn tortillas. You can use chicken, pulled chicken, shredded beef, meat that's not actually meat. And then you can top them with whatever the heck you want. Shredded lettuce, black olives, more cheese. Hey, I'm not judging you. The full recipe for my gluten-free enchiladas with homemade enchilada sauce is in the link down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to know what you think if you make these in your own kitchen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.